Good morning. I'm Michelle. I'm Countess. Hi, Countess. Admitting to Elise about my stage fright was the first step. Now I want to go see somebody and tackle, you know, some bigger issues. I'm all about, you know, taking it to the next level and being a better me. What I'd like to hear from you today is what brought you here? And what would you like to work on and what's your hoped for outcome? Well, why I'm here is I was in the house for five years. Had a chemical burn because of something that I did. I wasn't wearing my lace front rig, you know, properly. Mm. And I didn't want to be outside as an actress having to explain all the time Why, what was what's going wrong. On. When I was shut in my house for five years, it was because I was ashamed of the way I looked. And it had a lot to do with, you know, what I went through when I was a little girl. When I was a little girl on the set of 227, Marla Gibbs was wonderful. Mm -hmm. You know, she taught me how to love myself, and you're a beautiful little girl, and she was sweet. But, you know, there were certain people on there that, you know, it just wasn't cool. One of the characters not liking me because I was fat. <laughs> Black. <laughs> and ugly. You know, didn't know I heard her. But she was older and she came from a different era. You know? Of what she, you know, she, what she thought was beautiful. And so, that kind of painted, you know, the way I felt about myself from then on at the age of eight and nine. I've constantly battled with wanting to change myself because of others' opinions. It had a lot to do with me being in this business, entertainment business, and how you're looked at as a product. You know, is it dressy enough? Is it cute enough? Is it, you know, you never feel good enough. You've been through a lot, and growing up in the industry at a very young age is tough. It seems to me that you want to change. I do. You know, and let me help you. Um, you know, get to your best self and, you know, work through all the things that you have going on. Okay. Let me ask you, do you have a journal? No. Okay. Have you ever? Yes. You have? In my journal, I remember being 18. No, it was early. I can't remember now. But I had an unwanted pregnancy. Let me help you, um, you know, get to your best self and, you know, work through all the things that you have going on. Okay. Let me ask you, do you have a journal? No. Okay. Have you ever? Yes. You yeah. have? In my journal, I remember being 18. No, it was early. I can't remember now. But I had an unwanted pregnancy. I had just started my TV show. I knew that in Black Hollywood, 
you know, a girl having a baby, they get rid of you. They didn't want to see a pregnant girl up there on TV. And I'd already been a teen star on Malaysia. So I knew it wasn't a good look. So you found out you were pregnant. Mm -hmm. And? And I knew that I couldn't have this baby because of my career. I had to do something about it. So you made Because I knew from the jump that if I let any of them know what was going on, they would have canceled my show. So you made this decision on your own to... Privately and handled it privately. I could have killed myself the way I did. Tell me about that. I don't want to go into detail, but I did what I had to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give any woman out there or any young girl any ideas. to do anything negative to their body, because I did. And then you just continued to work on mm -hmm. the show. Back to business as, you, as, as normal. Mm -hmm. And yes, I regret it, but a lot of people were counting on me, so that's why I felt the pressure to do what I did. Do you, um, what's your thought about it today? You know, it's just it's one of my demons that I'm trying to get over. Mm -hmm. Do you beat up on yourself? Mm -hmm. I'm good, just had to. It makes it easy for you not to. You did the best at the time with what you knew, with what you had. I'd rather do it than someone else do it. I know it's not right. Looking back at yourself, at that eight or nine year old little girl, or at that girl that was 18 or 19 at that time, making that decision and having that conversation where you are today. It's very powerful in, in, in forgiving her and talking to her and letting her know that it's okay and you did the best so that you can heal, so that you can start to move on. I'm just tired. Emotionally, physically, I'm just exhausted.